Okay. This one record. Uh -huh. This button. This this button puts people in. Let me see which one you're hitting. Okay, that one. Okay. See this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That pulls them in. Okay. Push them, push, them, push them out. Okay. Okay. So uh -huh. you can just get the pictures. Yeah. You could so. almost stand here. And just zero in and just take the pictures. The people. Okay, so it's already ready. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I don't you, have to push nothing. You shut it off. Okay, so I'm recording now. It's recording. Okay, very good. So I'll take you first. Okay, you can say hello to the people. <laughs> okay, Sister Peggy, I'm getting you. Okay. Let me zoom in. Okay, this is not my. I'm guessing I'm not strong enough. See, it's not zooming in. Oh, that's how you're you're doing it that way. Okay, I thought you was pushing. Okay. All right. Say cheese. Yeah. <laughs> hello. 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 Hi. Hello, Hello. Sister Jean. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. I'll report these people while I'm hugging you. Mm, I love you, honey. Love you too. Hi, dear. Hey. Hi, sweetie pie. Let me get you up close. Mm. <laughs> Hi there. Good seeing you. Hi. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. Hi.
Dr. Neola Herbert, who is escorted by Derek Dawkins. going to be uh, led by Sister Lois Broadus. Okay, thank you. I'm going to come out a little further. Praise the Lord. God is good. Amen. 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 He's good all of the time. And as I pray, we're going to touch the throne of God. But before I do, I wanted to share this thought with you. I volunteer at Cornerstone TV. And we pray and intercede for others. And when I got there yesterday afternoon, as I sat down, the supervisor and the other prayer counselor said, hey, do you want to see the prophet? I said, yes. I thought they were teasing me at first. They said, hurry, hurry. Get to the hall. He's getting ready to leave. And as I began to, I went to meet the man of God, and he began to impart this to me. And just one part of it I'm going to share with you ladies. And for everyone else that wants to receive it. He gave everyone their own special word from the Lord. He's on point. I'll give you his name later if you care to know. But the one thing he said to me was this. The many things that you do, you may not be getting a pat on the back for it. But God knows what you do. God knows the effort. He knows. He knows the sleepless nights. He knows. But we thank God for these honorees today. And I'm especially happy because I got saved in 1976. Every one of them on your posts. When I walked into the church of God, they were there. Now let us pray. Amen. Father God, we come before thee, Lord, in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We pray a special blessing upon all of the honorees, Lord. They brought us with God, we know they labored and they have toiled in the name of Jesus. But God, you seen your work. You have great reward that the church is here tonight. And I pray, God, these bodies have gotten all these needs have gotten fit. But I thank you, Lord, for the precious Holy Ghost that they can move and work under the action and inspiration of the Holy Ghost. God, that they're still yet able to do the work to build up the kingdom of God. And I pray for every one of the sound of my voice that they too may be joined today, that they may be glad, God, in the name of Jesus. The Lord, that you have blessed them soon. Psalms 31, starting at verse 10. 
Who could find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband does safely trust her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. She is like the merchant ship. She bringeth food from afar. She rises also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. She considereth a field and buyeth it. With the fruit of her hands she planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. She perceived that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. She lays her hand to the spindle and her hand holds the staff. She stretches out her hand to the poor. Yea, she reaches forth her hand to the needy. She is not afraid of the snow for the household, for all her household are clothed with fire. She maketh herself covering of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. Her husband is known in the gate when he sitteth among the elders of the land. She maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. Yeah. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, yeah. and her tongue is not the law, is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed, yeah. her husband also, and he prays for her. Many daughters have done virtuous, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, beauty is vain, but a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hand, and let her own work praise her in the gate. The Lord has blessed us to the reading of his holy word. Yeah. Yeah. You may be seated. We're going to honor and we're so glad that she's here today to honor our uh, honoree today. Special tribute. Because 
thank God for all of you that came out for this program. It has been a great honor for me to be able to honor these honorees that are sitting here at this table. And each one of them, while I was going through a terrible, terrible time with my sickness um, for the past two years, God put people in my building that cared about me and they um, would lift my groceries from the grocery cart and they did the little things that people just don't pay attention to anymore in life looking after one another. And I truly thank God for each one that these are uh, um, some of the ladies that are in the at this table. Um, they're throughout that have been so helpful to me. And I give honor to all of my honorees because each one of them have been a blessing. Sister Spencer has gone with me and helped me to get all the paper goods and all the things that I needed. And she's been like that with everybody that has a program. She's a person that when you need her, she's there to help you take things out of the car, to even spend her money. Um, Sister Arlene Bates is my mother in the Lord. Uh, when I was seeking the Holy Ghost, it was her that knelt beside me. And we tarried until God came in and filled me with the precious Holy Ghost. And I never will forget I was snotty, nose running. I was just an awful mess. And yet she did not care. I thank God for her because through my life and through my son's life, she's been a blessing and I give God all the glory for her. Sister um, Herbert is one woman, when you fall in need or you have a problem, if you call Sister Herbert, it's a guarantee she's gonna get a prayer line going. And so many times I was sickened to death, and my sister would call Sister Herbert, and she would indeed call her sister, who's not here, and she's in Alabama. She would call her, and the prayer line would begin, and God visited me each time and he delivered me from so many different things that was going on in my body. So remember God as a deliverer and remember Sister Herbert. You can call her and she'll answer your phone and if she doesn't, if she's on her answer machine, she's going to call you back. My sister Mabel, she's not only a sister and a mother of the church, but she is indeed my physical aunt. And from a little girl up until now, she has replaced my mother in many areas. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And there's been times when I didn't know which way to go, but she always had a word of encouragement. And I thank God that I can give these people they're flowers yet while they're alive. Amen. Amen. So many times we go to the funeral home and we see that's thousands of dollars of money being spent on flowers, mm -hmm. but yet nobody stopped to take that person <coughs> to a doctor's visit. Nobody came by with a dinner. So right now I want to give back what God has put in my heart, and only God. I want you all to know that it's only God. I'm not one that wants to be up in the front. I'm usually, I sit back in the back. I don't want any honors, because my honors come from God. And last but not least, Sister Peggy here is a silent one in our church. She sits in her corner, and she prays to the Lord. Her daughter called me from, um, New Orleans, she's a truck driver, and told me her mother, she will be here. Why didn't I tell her sooner so she could take her days off? <laughs> and, of course, and then told her, she, she got eyes, some skin, eye, a touch with eyes somehow, in some way, and she was like, and my cousin better sing, because I want her to sing a song. She just took over my program. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most gentle <laughs> land that you could find. But I thank God for each and every one of them. I thank God for the young ladies um, that have helped me throughout this whole um, situation. They've cut up fruit.
fruit. We cut up fruit last night. I uh, might not want to see fruit no more anytime soon. <laughs> and I just thank Kathy. And there's so many of you, and I can't name name by name. Sister Jeannie and her husband, um, I was broke. And I never even expected, that's how, how good God is, because he knows our every need. And sometimes we don't even have to say anything. That's Sister right. Sister Jeannie and Brother Irwin sent me money, and I was in need of money that particular day. And last but not least, I'd like to thank my pastor's wife and Jackie, because every time I went to the hospital, they were there. Yes. They would come. My pastor is the uh, man in the blue shirt over there, and he squirms a lot because he doesn't like any attention. Um, he's not one of these preachers that want to be seen and got him to have a big title. But I thank God for being under the leadership of Brother Edward Kendall. God did something for him one day, and he wasn't always the nice, clean-looking man that he is. <laughs> he has some skeletons going on, but I thank God that the word of God that he preaches is the word that's going to take us on to glory. Amen. I want to thank my coordinator. Yes. My lady, she is the pastor of the Northside Church of God. Because there's nothing in this world. We see the bullets flying and all the things that's going on in this world. It's going to get worse yes. before Jesus comes. And I just want you all to be equipped so that on that one day we will, we will all get together. Thank you. Enjoy yourselves. And thank you, I for playing. Have a Amen. Amen. coming around to make sure you get those here done. You, you can, you, she's going to put them in the bag for us. So she's going to
to it. Your anchor home and grit the solid, the solid rock. Praise the Lord. At this time, I'd like to do a couple of readings. But first of all, before I give you these readings from God's best, for you. give you correction. That's what we need. We need people around that are from their heart. Not because they were trying to boss me, not trying to, say, trying to get in my business, but because they were, they had the love of God in them and they expressed it to me. Amen. And today now I can say, I've never forgotten what each one of you have done. I can write a book right. on yes. the mothers of the yes. church and how God used the women of the church to be a blessing to me and that's why I'm yet saved, Amen. because of them. Amen. And I thank God for them. First word of wisdom that I would like to read. The more God trusts us with, the more accountable we are for how we use it. Think on that. The more God trusts us with, the more accountable we are for how we use it. And the scripture that goes with this is, for everyone, for everyone to whom much is given, from him much will be required. Amen. And to whom much has been committed of him, they will ask the more. The next one I have, and I'm only going to read a couple, I have a couple of nuggets here. And I think that I try to pick the ones that these ladies exemplify. Success requires patience. If it is the right thing, never, never, never give up. Let us not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. That's at Galatians 6 and 9. The next one I'd like to read. Don't worry about titles for recognition. Let your accomplishments speak for themselves. Nor did we seek glory from men, either from you or from others, when we might have made demands. And that's it, 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 6. And the last one I'd like to read. In the end, all rewards come from God. In his economy, rewards are directly related to faithfulness. Amen. And the scripture is from Ruth 2 and 12. The Lord repays your work. And a full reward will be given you by the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come for refuge. Uh, I, think, I hope that these uh, couple of readings encourage you. I hope that you listen to them and take them to heart. And remember, if you can do something good for someone, do it. God will be paid. Amen. Amen. morning when I got up, I, I turned on the computer and I got onto the MSN website. And there was a big caption from a 90-year-old woman. And she said there are 45 things that she would, uh, tips that she would give everyone. And I began to write them down on a piece of mail. It's just so good. I just want to share a few of them. The one that I really enjoyed, it said get rid of everything that is not useful, that is not beautiful, or not joyful. <laughs> One other tip she had was, this is, now she's 90, no matter how you feel, get up, get dressed, and show up. <laughs> Isn't that good? Another one is, if we all threw our problems in a pile and saw everyone else's, we would grab ours back. <laughs> so that, that's a good one. Uh, she said, I believe in miracles. Stop envying. 
being because it's a waste of time. You already have everything that you need. Amen. That's a good one too. Um, I have a few more. Uh, 45 lessons from this 90 year old woman. However good or bad the situation is, it will change. Two, three more. Time heals almost everything. Give time time. <laughs> forgive everyone, everything. We like to forgive what we want to forgive. That's right. Amen. You know what the Bible says, like, you know, about that. And then the last one, the best is yet to come. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap for the Amen. Wait, I gotta got find it. Wait. Oh, growing old beats the alternative of dying young. Praise the Lord. I'm going to present Sister George Jackson, our coordinator. She has some gifts for the honorees. We love you. We appreciate you. We want you to hear it, feel it. And, let us, and we want you to know that we love you. I have a wonderful thing here for these ladies. My sister, who is um, a telephone operator, user, she does everything on the telephone. She's totally blind, but you never know it because she's on that phone from the time she gets up to the time she's done. And she's praying, and she's laughing, and we hook up with my other sister that's in New Jersey. But count your gifts, and give my sister credit for it, because she was on the phone doing all the work.
Sister Doris approached me with the idea of doing this. I thought it was a wonderful idea, and I thought it was the time that we, this past time to do it. And we, I was all bored with her to do whatever she needs to do. And she's done a wonderful job. Let's give her a hand. And of course, to all those who helped and put it together with her and helped her, I thank you, God for you, and I thank God for all that you have done to make this a wonderful success. Yeah. And of course, to our honorees, we thank God for you. We wouldn't be who we are if it had not been for you. Amen. They were the trailblazers who yeah. set the trail, yeah. set the standard for us. And I thank God for them. And thank God that I can be a part. And they've all had a wonderful part in my life to mold me into the man of God that I am. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for each and every one of them. I appreciate them, I love them, and I pray constantly for them that God will continue to bless them, continue to move on their life. I was thinking of how Sister Bates, uh, and that seemed to have been her ministry at one time. She, would, uh, she knew how to talk to you and approach you. And I remember how uh, and I was sitting in the back of the church, I was always sitting near the back so I can leave out real fast. And I remember how she spent time and prayed with me. And uh, Sister Spencer came to the hospital, her and my uh, Uncle Willie, Brother Spencer, and prayed with me and uh, prayed for me. And all these, uh, my mother-in-law and my mother, I thank God for my mother who uh, always taught me that no matter where you are, that no matter what you get into, you can always call on the name of Jesus. Amen. And God would hear and answer your prayer. Amen. And so I thank God for her and for each and every one of them. Sister Stevens, I thank God for her. Amen. And I was thinking the other day, I was wanting some greens. And whenever I, when we lived in Florida, we'd come home, Brother Ben would always have a, a thing of greens for me so that I could have them. So I thank God for them and all that they've done. I have wonderful memories, and I thank God for them. God bless you, and God bless you. Amen. 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 Starting with Sister Spencer. I would like for the honorees to have Yvonne this word. Thompson. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Hello. Just say hello. Well, I can hear Can you believe that I, I don't know what to say? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I do want 
to thank uh, uh, Sister Doris Jackson for hearing the voice of the Lord. You don't hear much about that today. People don't give God very much credit for what he does. And uh, she, she told me about what the Lord impressed upon her to do. And I said, well, that's what she said. Well, I need your help. I said, well, I'll help you. And um, of course, the devil says, well, now you're being honored and you're going to work too. Well, that's what we do. That's what we do. We, we go about doing good. That's what Jesus did. He went about, he went everywhere doing good. And uh, that's what the disciples of old did. They went from house to house and place to place telling the good news about what Jesus had done for them and encouraging people to do the same thing. So I was happy to, uh, to help Sister Doris, and I've been thinking about it. Even this morning I got up and I looked in the closet and I found all these things <laughs> that I know she could use because I don't, have a I don't even need to use them anymore. But it's just a, it's a wonderful thing to get together with people and to just just enjoy the fellowship. Mm -hmm. And I love a party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really do. I love a party. I like to go. I like to participate. And so this was really a great time. I'm happy to see my friends who come. First of all, my sister, who's my right hand, is here today with her granddaughter Chelsea and their children. And I'm just so happy. Some of you may not know her. But I'd like for her to stay. My sister is Betty. She doesn't like she doesn't like a big fanfare either. Really she doesn't. But whatever I really try to do. She's always there to help me and to advise me, and I really do love her. I call her Jane. My name is Janet, and uh, that's where it goes. But I'm glad. Uh, my Tanika's babysitter is here. Uh, the lady that she babysits for is here. Uh, Miss Carr is here, and her daughter, Karishna, is here. And I'm so glad that they came. and. Uh, Kevin is also with us today. We expect he's going to be Krishna's dad. <laughs> and um, Glenda is here. Glenda is one of our first converts from the Keysport. And she, she lives down south now. She lives in uh, Los Angeles. But she partly lives in Pittsburgh. And I'm so glad she's been sick to the door of death. And God has brought her out. And brought Amen. Her out. And I'm just so glad that she's here. I see our new members are here. Some of these young men whom God has saved and brought into the church. And we're glad that they're here. I'm glad to see Yvonne Stevenson when she was a young, young girl. There she was in the church. Everything she put for the Lord. And she drives these big Mack trucks. Have you ever seen one all around? <laughs> But I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that Pamela Bates is here. She was also my, my children's babysitter. And she came, I know she came here later, but she's here for the And I could leave my kids, my car, my house, and everything with Pam and not worry at all because she, I knew that she would just take good care and do all the right things. Um, Wanda is here, Wanda Adams is here. I just thank the Lord. I could name every one of you. Yesterday I had an opportunity to work with some of the ladies from the building. Uh, they were, I couldn't believe it. I was calling them sisters. Because that's just how wonderful they really were. To work with, to help, to just to do everything. So it's, it's a good thing. Sister Yvonne is right here filming everything. <laughs> and, uh, I know her from way back when she first came to the church. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just been a wonderful. Sister Eunice is here and Sister Lois. Mm -hmm. No matter where I'd ever want to go, I say, Sister Eunice, I want to go, but I can't drive. She'll say, I'll drive for you. Mm -hmm. And she'll drive anywhere I'd ask her to go. So I just thank the Lord for this opportunity for each one of you who has come to share this time with us. And 
And I can't leave out Sister Jeannie and the peas and rice. <laughs> Sister Jeannie is from Jamaica. And she can make the best peas and rice you've ever one had. And she would always make it for me. And I thank you, Sister Jeannie. So there's Sister Walker. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Amen. She met me at the altar the first time I came to this church. To the church. She met me at the altar and introduced me to Jesus. And he has been my Lord and Savior. That was in 1969. And here I am. Amen. Amen. Praise Carl. I want to praise the Lord. Honoring God today. Our First Lady, in the absence of her husband, Sister uh, Joy, God bless you. Amen. 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 Pastor, uh, I call, I call Lainey so much, but it's for Pastor <laughs> Burns, Yvonne <laughs> Burns. <laughs> but anyway, for each one of you, I just want to praise the Lord for you, and uh, praise the Lord for my daughter, Pam, uh, who's become my chauffeur. <laughs> 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 but anyway, God knows you get, when time goes, it goes. And so you have to move within the chain of time. Amen. I can praise the Lord for each one that's here. My twin is here. Um, when, when my little grandbaby was born, he thought she was me. So he always go to her. Amen. And so I said, well, you know, we do look alike. <laughs> so I always call her twin, Sister Jeannie. Amen. But uh, prayer partners, amen, those that would help me to go along the way, those that would strengthen. And I said, Lord, what can I say? I talked to uh, Sister Doris, and she was telling me about uh, her, her, her heart's desire to uh, really give flowers while people were living. And I can't leave my Sister Betty, amen. She is such a blessing. Without, without, she works beyond the scenes, underneath the scenes, and she doesn't say a lot, but the Lord uses her. And I just want to praise the Lord, amen, for each one. If I don't say your name, I praise the Lord for you. One of the things that I had to help the young people to understand Thank when you. we were uh, working, when I worked as the counselor in the jail and the counselor in Teen Challenge, um, and I would say, you know, what you just said was a blessing to me. And I said, really? How could I be blessing you when you are counseling me? And I told them, we are workers together in Jesus Christ. And there's no way for you to give out and me not receive, or for me to give and you not receive. Because that's the way the Lord works. And so I said, Lord, what shall I say to the people that are honoring us today? You are honored by God when you are obedient to what God tells you to do. Amen. And your first step of obedience is believing that Jesus Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures and in believing, you call on him and ask him to save you and change your life, and he will do that. That's your first step of obedience. And then after that step of obedience, other things happen whereby God will give you something to do that you might obey him. Have I always obeyed the Lord when he spoke? No, I had to learn how to obey. I was working in the, the federal building and the Lord told me, go speak to that guard and tell him of the love of Jesus Christ. And I said, I have to get back to my desk because my lunch hour is almost over. And it wasn't a good 20 minutes later that the man had dropped in. I missed the voice of God and that obedience to the call of God. 
Was that the only time? No, sorry to say. There were other times, but each time I learned more to hear God and to obey him. And so I just wanted to share uh, two particular scriptures. One is at 1 Corinthians 4 and uh, verse number 5 it is. And I'm not going to keep you here for an hour. Amen. But I do want to read it. It says, therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts. And then shall every man have praise of God. God will praise us for believing him, for serving him, and for doing what God has said for us to do in faithfulness. God will bless us for that. And then the other scripture is over, uh, 1 Corinthians again, 15, and the verses are 21 through 25. And it says, for since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the firstfruits, afterward they that are Christ at his coming. Then cometh the end, when he shall deliver up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. Yeah. And God wants us to know in that time, when it's all said and done, everybody that has obeyed him is going to receive praise. Now they're honoring us today and we praise the Lord for it. Amen. And each one of us has been a part of one another's life. When I first came into the church, uh, it was um, Reverend Lillian Bright, amen, that mentored me and helped me and prayed with me and counseled with me and, and those kinds of things. And uh, there were several kinds of things that happened in the church. And she says, you look around and you pick a saint that you want to be like when you get older because you are going to get old. Amen. And you can you can be loving and kind, or you can be cantankerous and mean and despiteful. You can be any one of those things. She said, but look around and see somebody that you want to be like. And I looked and I saw Sister Peggy. Amen. And I said, I want to be like her. Amen. Because she was kind, she was loving, she was sympathetic, she wasn't uh, arrogant and mean and contentious and all those things and I watched her and I said when I get old amen that's what I want to be like amen praise God and you know I, I, I'm probably not in that position <laughs> because sometimes I'm not as kind and loving and all those kinds of things that I probably need to be not all the time Oh, you don't know the other side of me. Uh, but sometimes I'm not as kind as I should be. Sometimes I'm not. And the Lord has to help me. Yes. But I want to thank the Lord for her and each one. Sister Mabel, I learned so much from going to the Bible studies. It was in her house that we had the meeting where Pastor Spencer got saved. Amen. But Sister Janet got saved before him. And uh, I just praise the Lord for what God taught me through her life. And Sister D, we've been together forever. Amen. And uh, when she came into church, I had come into the church as well. And uh, we just stayed friends, uh, praying with one another, helping one another the whole time. So each one, we have serve one another is what i'm trying to say just like every one of you have served amen i heard her saying what you had done 
Amen. Sister Walker, I didn't say, talk about her, but praise the Lord for her. Each one that is here, praise the Lord for you. Amen. Went to the jail, to the maybe state hospital with Sister Eunice. And prayed at the altar and, you know, worked with Sister um, <laughs> Broadus. I don't know where she is, but anyway. She's in the kitchen. For each one, we've all worked one with another. Yeah. And we could all talk about what God did in our lives one with another. God has the record and he's going to honor every one of us that he sings over us. And so be blessed in what God has done in our lives. We appreciate each one of you. Amen. Thank you so much. Praise God. Amen. 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 Amen.
No, I'm gonna take. I'll have to take one with me. Okay. I'm just gonna take the other thing, which will prove that you're yeah. finished. Yeah, I'm finished that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. <laughs>
Jesus came on. My prayer has been that during this whole time that somebody would not leave here the same way you came in. That something that was said or something that was sung would touch your heart and make you want more of Jesus. And tonight I thank God that I came from a family whose legacy was about Jesus. I came as a little girl learning how to say my prayers on my hands and knees every night that was a ritual for us. And those prayers have carried me through to be 71 years old. I'm grateful tonight. There were so many times the ambulances rolled up to the door of this building and took me out of here. So many times last year, Thank you, I didn't know if they were gonna have to go in for open heart surgery. Yeah. So many times I had an experience where I was having a stroke Jesus. and I literally saw my foot turn in the direction that it should have been going. Mm. And I began to plead the blood of Jesus. Glory and I began to ask God, don't let me have a stroke. 
I don't want to be dependent or a burden on anybody. And as I began to pray, Praise I Jesus. saw my foot straightened out. Hallelujah. And when we went to the hospital, the doctor said to me, you're going to have some short-term memory. And don't be worried about it because it might come back, but then it might not. But praise be to my God I serve. Thank you, Jesus. My memory might not be like it always was, but I know my age got a little thing to do with that, too. Sometimes I got to write notes on the refrigerator and on my calendar, but I thank God today I can stand and say, he touched me. He touched me. challenges as I was going through sicknesses I was going through challenges in my life but I can stand here today and I can tell each and every one of you those of you that don't know this man named Jesus those of you who haven't been touched in a long time because sometimes we get weary and we fall by the wayside. Yes. But that man named Jesus yes. is always there yes. with yes. open yes. arms yes. to bring us back. Yes. So tonight, more than anything, I pray that God would go with you, that he would continue to bless you, that he would continue to keep him under the blood. Now, as we leave and go our separate ways to my neighbors, Thank you so much. Yes. You mean so much to me. Um, Joy and Rachel and Posey, that's my little clique. <laughs> I have Tiny who's back here and um, every day she knocks on my door and sees if I need anything, um, if I need her to go to my store, go to the store for me. I'm grateful that I come from a family of love. I thank God for my little grandson that's standing over here uh, making faces and whatnot. <laughs> he had a testimony years ago, and I'm wondering if, if his testimony is still as strong as it used to be. Because that's what I'm praying. That God yes, yes, yes. From in his safety. There's yes. so many kids that's yes. dying yes. out here on their way yes. to and from school. Pray for our children. Yes. Pray that this murdering spirit Amen. that is in Homewood yes. would Amen. be found. Yes. And I wish you God speed when you see me. I love you all. If there's anything I can do to help you with my bad body, because um, I got to call on Dawn on this one. That one, that one. But in my heart. I want yes. you to know I love each and every one of you because yes. God would have us to do so. Betty, I'm so glad to see you, um, that you have come, and Betsy, and you're born. Thank you all mm -hmm. for coming in to support this, and I hope that you will be blessed Amen. and have a good day. Amen. is yet to come in their lives, God. Yes, Jesus. Let this death be the best day of their lives. Let the rest of their years be the best years of their lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Now, God, I pray that you would find us in a house of God somewhere tomorrow, yes. that we might receive the word of God, that we might receive salvation, healing, and deliverance. In our lives, in Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. 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 Amen.